Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, Big Spoon, Little Spoon. Happy birthday to us. It's that time of year again. Today marks the channel's second birthday. It really doesn't feel like I've been doing this for this for that long yet. But that's what YouTube tells me. Our first video was posted two years ago today and it was American Girl Tries British Yorkshire Pudding. I'll link that down below but we've come a long way since then. Now what does every birthday need? A birthday cake, right? So we are going to make a recipe that James has wanted me to make for a long time. His signature recipe, chocolate orange cake. Let's see if we can get him to tell us a little bit about it, shall we? I've been making this orange cake for the last 10 years now. I actually got it out of a very old recipe book um, and I just added little things to myself like the, the fudge icing. I first made it, it was actually for a, uh, a charity coffee morning and there was a competition on which I came second but the cake was eaten so I'm not complaining. It's a very very rich cake and it tastes absolutely delicious. Well, he sent me the recipe and answered any questions that I had about how to make it. Let's head into the kitchen and get this cake made because I'm eager to try it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is put in 200 grams, which is about a stick and three quarters worth of butter. You want this softened so that it creams up nicely without having to fight with it too much. Into that goes 200 grams or one cup of sugar. And like I said, you're gonna cream this together. I know you don't wanna to listen to my mixer. We've been here before. I'll be right back. Okay, that looks pretty sufficiently mixed for me. Next, we're going to go in with four eggs. And hopefully, I don't do what I did in the wine cookie video. If you didn't watch that, I'll link it below. It was pretty funny. And four. Cream this a little bit more. Okay. Next is 200 grams or a cup and a quarter of self-rising flour. And another teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, uh, after the baking powder, we've got the zest of one orange. and two tablespoons of milk. A little more mixing, see you in a second. Now, I know James usually makes this as a whole cake, but so that it'll cool faster for me to be able to try it for you, I'm gonna make this as cupcakes. Slide that over there. Cupcake tin, nice new pack of cupcake liners, that looks like it's going to make about 12. I can really smell the orange in that batter. 
I think sometimes that James is determined to make me like chocolate and orange. This chocolate and orange cake, the chocolate and orange chocolate. He just, I don't know. Well, we'll see if this makes any more sense to my American palate. Okay, I like to use a scoop or a disher for cupcakes. These might be a little big. I'm trying to not fill it quite all the way up. So we can remember from the muffin video, I'll link that below, my full disher tends to give quite large cakes. Huh, I'm not gonna make it to 12. Maybe that means I should be putting quite a bit less in these since this recipe is supposed to make a whole cake. So I'm just going to leave it there. These are going to go into the oven at 190 degrees centigrade, which is 375 for about 20 minutes. Well, that's the time for the whole cake. So I'm going to keep an eye on these since they're cupcakes, but it's probably going to be around 20 minutes. I'll let you know. I'll be back to make the icing with you in just a minute. Okay. So for anyone who's ever made buttercream before, it's pretty simple. We're going to start with a stick and a quarter, which is 150 grams of softened butter. So it's convenient for you Americans who are making this, that's three sticks of butter. Then we're going to mix this up, it's going to be a lot of mixing. Now that that's all mixed up, we're going to add in 150 grams, which is a cup and a quarter no, I'm sorry, a cup and a half of powdered sugar. And guess what? More mixing. Start slow this time though, or powdered sugar will go everywhere. Might go everywhere anyway. Okay. Now, if this is going to be chocolate buttercream, we need some chocolate, right? So. That is 150 grams or one cup of melted dark chocolate chips. You can melt these over a double boiler or in the microwave, but you don't want it hot. You want it cool when you put it in, otherwise you're going to melt the butter. Yum. Not going to be real effective there with the fork, I think. To get all that chocolatey goodness. Okay, that looks delicious. And we are going to put that into a piping bag so that it's ready when the cakes are done. Yeah, I know the trick with the glass. I just didn't grab one. Okay, so 
I'm going to finish putting this in the piping bag. And then I will see all of you when the cakes come out of the oven. Be right back. Okay, so here we've got some finished cupcakes. Not really sure what happened to that one, but eh. Okay, we do have one more step before we just leave these to cool. And that is we want to take the juice of that orange, and much like when we made the lemon drizzle cake, also linked below, we are going to add two tablespoons of sugar into that juice. Give that a good stir. And then we're gonna poke the crud out of these cakes. This is gonna be a little more difficult than the lemon drizzle cake since these are cupcakes. But I knew a cupcake was gonna take, sorry, I knew a cake was gonna take like an hour to cool. And I just don't have that kind of time today. Where the cupcakes, well, I'm gonna throw one of these babies in the freezer so that it'll be cool in like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I need a spoon. Okay, spoon. We are going to semi-carefully, since these are cupcakes and this is likely to go everywhere, drizzle this over all the cakes. And that's just going to really intensify the orange flavor. I wonder what the history is in the UK of orange being so popular because I know that, well at least I'm pretty sure that you can't natively grow oranges there because we grow them in places like California and Florida and it's quite warm and the UK doesn't get, there's a seed in that, the UK doesn't get anywhere near that warm so you don't grow citrus there do you? So where did citrus originally get imported to you from? And how did it end up becoming so popular as a, well, as a sweets and, I don't know, what do you call it, chocolate? What would, a sweets and chocolate flavoring? Well, I've got a little bit of this left, but I don't want to soak these cakes too much. So, oh, you know what, whatever. We'll put it all on. The lemon drizzle cake could have used more, so we'll just go on the assumption that this needs it too. Okay, so I'm going to let these cool, and I will see you back where we usually taste things uh, to ice and give one of these a try. See you in a minute. Okay, so I threw a few of the cupcakes into the freezer, and they're cool enough for me to frost now. I figured I'd just bring the frosting out here to frost them for you. If you aren't very good with a piping bag, don't worry, you can always just use a knife. But I think a piping bag is kind of fun, don't you? And I was going to bring candles, but as it turns out, I don't have any. Doesn't that look nice? Let's give these a shot. They don't smell super orangey. They're a little crumbly. But then how many people are going to be eating these without a plate? Not super orangey. Um, 
And maybe you could even use the zest of two oranges if you want super orangey. If you like subtle, then this is right up your alley. The chocolate frosting isn't super sweet, and I like that. I really don't like overly sweet frostings, and so many of American frostings are overly sweet. Um, because of that, it's not a really sweet dessert. I find myself actually liking that. Uh, okay, so if I was served these at a birthday party, I wouldn't be mad at them. If I was served them for my birthday, well, I'm not going to be mad, but I am going to wonder a little bit how well the person knows me. I'm probably going to give these a six. I don't think I'm going to go hunting them down, but they're not bad. I will happily eat my slice or share of slices if James was to make one of these cakes. But like I said, I'm probably not going to make it for myself. But if you like orange, if you like dark chocolate, this is probably something you guys are going to love. So don't let my confusion over orange and chocolate deter you from trying this recipe. It is a good cake. Uh, I'm trying to think if I would like it better with another citrus fruit, like lemon or something. If I did lemon, it's just a lemon drizzle cake, right? And other citrus would be lime. Lime and chocolate doesn't make sense to me either. But honestly, this, like, with a lime cake with maybe, like, a cream cheese frosting, that could be interesting. Might have to try that one. What's your favorite kind of birthday cake? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation. I'm going to say generally my favorite cake is chocolate. Although, I do make an apple cake that is pretty gosh darn amazing. And you know, as much as I say I'm not a giant fan of oranges, there's orange in the frosting for that, and I could eat a gallon of that stuff. But I just wanted to thank all of you again for watching all our videos over the last two years, and for subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who aren't subscribed to the channel yet, you should do so. We come up with a lot of fun stuff. You really don't want to miss it. And why don't you give us a thumbs up while you're at it? Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Happy birthday to the channel. Here's to many more years.